What's packing with your YouTube? We finally got our Super Bowl. Super Bowl 56 matchup. Cincinnati Bengals facing off against the Los Angeles Rams in LA. Uh, let's get into the first AFC Conference Championship game. I just want to say, Andy Reid, you're doing too much, man. You're doing too much. You, you, you basically fucked yourself. You played yourself. Trying to do all, trying to trying to do all of that razzle dazzle shit. Like, just kick the field goal. There's five seconds left on the clock, man. Kick the damn field goal. Patrick Mahomes, I don't know what the hell he was doing in that game, man. That was just uncharacteristic of him. I don't know, man. That, that game was just... I, mo, mo, mo power to, to, to the Cincinnati Bengals, man. I don't I don't even know if to say if it's well-deserved. It just seemed like if Roger Goodell showed up at the, the team that was hosting the damn game, the conference championship game or divisional round game, they just lost. Just like all the home teams lost. It was supposed to be in their favor to win, just lost. Only home team that won, I guess the one he didn't attend, was the LA Rams against the San Francisco 49ers. So, I don't know what to say about that game, but let's, let's, Let's get into the next game, but let's go through a little quick timeline of all of the times that the San Francisco 49ers have beaten the Green Bay Packers in the postseason. What has happened? They have come up empty-handed. Colin Kaepernick beat us, go to the Super Bowl, lose. Colin Kaepernick again beat us in the divisional round. At when we we had we we at home. Go to the NFC Championship, lose. Jimmy Garoppolo, they beat us at home. Go to the Super Bowl and lose. Jimmy Garoppolo again in the divisional round. Beat us at home, go to the NFC Championship and lose. And here we go again with this whole narrative with Sean McVay, Kyle Shanahan, and Matt LaFleur. Kyle Shanahan has been to two Super Bowls. He has lost twice. And here we go with Sean McVay going back to the Super Bowl for his second time. And I hope he gets it done. Youngest coach in the NFL, I hope he gets it done. I hope he gets it done. But with, with the way that the NFL is praising Joe Burrow, I mean, I, I don't know, man. I, Maybe, maybe, maybe this is, maybe this is Joe Burrow's time, man. I mean, the dude is tough as nails. You know what I'm saying? Uh, congratulations to you, Matt Stafford. I mean, I made a video three years ago explaining why Matt Stafford needed to get the hell out of Detroit. Three years ago. And look at him now. Look at him now. Look at him now. All of the Detroit Lion, all of the Detroit Lion One Pride fans. <laughs> I know y'all. Shout out to the Matt Stafford Lions fans that's rooting for Matt Stafford to win. Happy that he got to the Super Bowl. Shout out to y'all. But the ones that got this bad taste in their mouth right now, after all of the criticism about Matt Stafford, some of these fans even traveled out here to LA to see Matt Stafford win. To see him win, to see how, to see him smile, to see how happy he looked when he won the game. Like, damn, that's what winning looked like? Ugh. I'm, I, I, I feel your pain, I feel your pain. If Aaron, would, if Aaron was to leave and go to another team and win a Super Bowl with another team, with, with, you know what I'm saying? Not in the Green Bay Packer uniform. I would feel I would feel salty. I would I would feel salty too. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't I wouldn't put the man down after all of the blood, sweat, and tears he he put into the organization he was with before going to an organization to be a winner. But Aaron's been a winner 
with our organization for quite some time, so I, I don't know. Uh, my, my, I might have mixed feelings. I might be happy for him if he won a, won a Super Bowl with another team. I probably would be happy for Aaron. I'd be happy for Aaron. You got to, man. That's all that, that that's all that, that's all we wanted to see you do is win too. But Matt Stafford, man, get get a man some credit, man. Get a man some damn credit. Matt Stafford has been putting his body on the line for a losing organization for years. Years. He finally gets with a team that's looking out for the, the best interest, interest of him. Look, you come over here, I will build a team around you. Not saying the Lions didn't try to build a team around Matt Stafford. I'm pretty sure they did. They just didn't do a good job about it. I mean, I, I, I'm not a Lions fan, so I'm, I may never... I, may never I will never understand you know what I'm saying the emotional strain of having to see a quarterback that y'all took as the number one pick in the draft to go and get to where y'all thought he was gonna take y'all to a Super Bowl oh we got the number one pick in the draft oh we for sure gonna do something good with him and you do nothing and then it just takes one season, one season of putting on another jersey, stepping into another city, another state, and them understanding that, look, man, it's your time. It's time to get you where you need to be. And they do it in one year. One year. I mean, All you, can, all you can say is, man, congratulations, Matt Stafford. Congratulations, Matt Stafford. I am happy for you, man. Um, hopefully, you can bring a ring to the city of champions. Can't say that about Detroit. But, well, you, the Pistons, you know what I'm saying? The Pistons, they did their thing. Shout out to the Detroit Pistons. They beat the Lakers. But, Hey. <laughs> Be mad. Because <laughs> I'm glad. 